There were some people living up here who were afraid to leave their homes. And that is, I, I can't even tell you how wrong that is. For Katie Silliman, a Cortland City Councilor who witnessed more than 30 arrests made on Clayton Avenue near her home, it's caused her to want to propose a ban on the game. Over at Syracuse University on Walnut Avenue, there have been similar events during the years, but so far, they've been under control. Right behind me is the apartment complex known as the Castle Court. It was also the central hub of Mayfest last year, and it was a pretty safe atmosphere with nobody getting arrested. And in proposing the ban, the judge is trying to do the same for Cortica. Create an action plan and make concrete steps to see that it doesn't happen again. And then have the next game in 2015 and then review after the game, how did it go? Silliman's husband, Tim Gerhardt, had no shortage of shock with the display of behavior by the students. I'm getting my 83-year-old mother out of the car here on the driveway. Three guys walk by and I say, please, you know, stop, watch your language. My mother's getting out of the car. Their three answers are F you, we don't give an F, and F off. It was incredible how aggressive the students were, how disrespectful the students were of the residents and of the local police trying to control the situation.